The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Abbas Tajuddin, has assured that the 10th National Assembly is committed to prioritizing and addressing the socioeconomic challenges facing Nigerians. He said this at plenary on Tuesday while welcoming members back from a two-month annual recess. Abba says legislative actions must be activated to dictate a clear, robust vision aimed at supporting the executive in restoring uh, the country to the path of prosperity. And this can only be achieved by sustaining the January to December budget cycle as introduced by the Ninth Assembly. I'm aware that most of the other committees are yet to conclude their reports in this light and development I wish to direct that all other committees should conclude their assignments and submit their reports on or before 3rd of October 2023. Accordingly, all other committees shall cease to exist on October 3rd, 2023. However, in an event that any other committee is unable to conclude its assignment on this date, such as shall be yielded to the relevant standing committees of the House. My dear colleagues, permit me to express my displeasure at the failure of some state caucuses to send their nominations for membership of the standing committees. This is in spite of all pleas made to us before our recess and assurances received from the state caucuses. As a result, therefore, we are yet to fully populate the standing committees of the House. Consequently, the House leadership has resolved to make such nominations for states who fail to do so by Thursday, 20, 28 September. In a related development, the House has resolved to mandate its Committee on Health Institutions to investigate cases of unethical exploitative practices in health procurement and surrogacy by fertility hospitals and clinics in the country. Baba Jimmy Benson, who moved the motion, expressed dismay at the unholy practice of by fertility centers who are capitalizing on the absence of a sustainable or suitable regulatory framework to exploit providers and donors while potentially trading on donated eggs. The House, however, mandated its Committee on Health Institutions to ensure compliance as it adjourned plenary to 3rd of October. The House is worried that women undergo surgical egg retrieval, relinquishing control over the eggs obtained between 100,000 Naira to 150,000 Naira per retrieval, with five to six eggs extracted per month. The House is also worried about the widespread practice of terming this process as donation, while in reality, desperate women of childbearing age are coerced through target marketing to sell their eggs with potentially adverse effects on their future reproductive health and overall well-being. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.